Good morning, and welcome to St. John Chrysostom. Today we remember St. Jerome, priest, theologian, and historian, and the patron of students and biblical scholars. Our presider this morning is Father McNamara, assisted by Deacon Bowie. Please stand for our entrance antiphon, found on page 878 of your missal. Blessed indeed is he who ponders the law of the Lord day and night. He will yield his fruit in due season. Good morning, everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. <clears throat> you are the everlasting God, and the Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. And you shall reign forever and ever. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest, St. Jerome, a living and tender love for sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more fruitful, fruitfully nourished by your word, and find in it the fount of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Have you ever in your lifetime commanded the morning and shown the dawn in its place, for taking hold of the ends of the earth till the wicked are shaken from its surface? The earth is changed as is clay by the seal and died as though it were a garment. But from the wicked, the light is withheld, and the arm of pride is shattered. Have you ever entered into the sources of the sea or walked about in the depths of the abyss? Have the gates of death been shown to you, or have you seen the gates of darkness? Have you comprehended the breadth of the earth? Tell me if you know all. Which is the way to the dwelling place of light? And where is the abode of darkness? That you may take them to their boundaries and set them on their homeward paths. You know be because you were born before them and the number of your years is great. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am of little account. What can I answer you? I put my hand over my mouth. Though I have spoken once, I will not do so again. Though twice, I will do so no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. 
With all my ways you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the netherworld, you are present there. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Truly you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to them, Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. Whoever listens to you listens to me. Whoever rejects you rejects me. And whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. It's uh, nice to see you all this morning. And I was thinking that's a beautiful reading from the book of Job. It's something that we could think about. Especially where it says, have you ever in your lifetime commanded the morning and showed the dawn its place? Looking out last night, we had a beautiful sunset. And, uh, we have nothing to do we don't control the sun when it rises and when it sets. So, have you entered into the sources of the sea and walked about in the depths of the abyss? Hmm. It really strikes us today, I think, when we think of what happened in Florida uh, this week. Uh, can't seem to control the hurricanes, that's for sure. And I think all of us knows, know people who are living in Florida and the path that it crossed has affected and will affect more people as it comes up the ocean. And yet we have no control of that. We have no control of God. And it's up to God to um, show us how to live. And then that beautiful psalm says, Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. How much we need God in our life uh, as we go through life and the different um, things that we run into. So today, uh, as we understand again our finiteness, our incapacity to control nature, that we ask God that we can harness nature through the use of mankind in good ways and accept the bad things that happen and try to help one another as we go through life.
that idea, let us continue with the Mass now and ask God for any special blessings that we might need today. For our church and our mission to live as faithful disciples, may the Lord strengthen us in this holy work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For our elected officials, may the Lord impart upon them a spirit of wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all who suffer from racism or prejudice, may the Lord bring healing to their pain and justice to their oppressors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those of us gathered here, may the grace of this sacrament transform us in the image of Christ's love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, may the Lord in his mercy welcome them into his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, and for James John Scanlon, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. O God, our Father, we ask you to grant these requests through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Let's be God forever. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our mighty Father. May the Lord sacrifice at your hands. We praise the glory of his name for our good and good of all in the church. Grant us, O Lord, that having meditated on your word, following the example of St. Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially family members and friends who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> and before receiving Christ in Holy Communion, let us offer together the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom thy come, come, thy will, will be done, on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those, those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. Yeah. have mercy on us. And God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ.
Let's pray. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating St. Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful so that attentive to sacred teachings, they may understand the path they are to follow and by following it, obtain life everlasting. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat>